how do you have that level of connection? I mean, because I, I feel like we our connection started out with an email and then a phone call, and then we had the face-to-face thing as close as we could get via this sort of medium. Um, I, years ago, I was a, a director for a banking organization, and they did some research that absolutely rocked my world. It, it shocked me, actually. They were asking people what was their definition of community. And I think, you know, thinking about that, my definition of community, how I grew up was a neighborhood or a geographical location. And those were the ways that most people made connection was in that very personal getting to know you across time, people you grew up with or neighbors that were around you, how you support each other that way. And it was completely opposite in this particular definition of community, that community was now the World Wide Web. And instead of a community of perhaps hundreds, it was potentially a community of tens of thousands stretching out even to the millions because of Internet. And it really put me into a spiral of going, I don't know if I know how to do that. How do, how do we? So, And it's one of the things that I have to say connected me very much to your messages. And I, I adore the name of your company pers- or uh, your, your process called Personify because it really spoke to me about how do we, how do we create that personal brand, but beyond the brand or the facade or the mask, how do we actually reach more deeply in? And it's like, I just want to go to the camera and go like, you know, <laughs> how, do, how do we go more deeply in to really, truly getting to know each other in a connected, useful, valuable, um, long-lasting way. So something that's built with to endure across time, across distance. So what's come up for me. Sorry, go for Yeah, what's come up for me when you say that is uh, the phrase, all paths lead to Rome. Right, and I'm still getting the the branding right for my own business because I'm so busy doing everyone else's that I've <laughs> missed out on my own. But um, and if you asked me that question three months ago, it's very different to now um, because lots of things have changed in between then. But um, I think the most important thing is all paths lead to Rome. Now, what that means is that there's either a an attempt or an eventuation to in person. Right now, what that might mean is this is as close as we can get because we're halfway. We're you're over in Western Australia. I'm in Sydney. But there needs to be some level of leading to connection, leading to the real thing, you know. And the more technology becomes a part of our lives, the more real the technology becomes of face to face. Now, so if we reverse engineer that, we look at someone in a position of like, oh, I'm posting a bit of content today, then what is the closest version of in real life to that, right? Now, the very first thing is, of course, there's there's structure and strategy that can help to you know trigger the parts of our brain to stay engaged like changing the scene every two to three seconds like using stock footage that's relevant to your audience using different graphics things like that which you would say well that's not real life but what i'm saying is that the expression and the the message itself is as real as it can get so one of the values that i always teach is authenticity right and that even means speaking to how you feel and being Mm -hmm. honest about how you feel and so I, I went my own my own journey for like two and a half years of creating content. And I it's like my personality. This is the process I go through. I'm very rigid. Like I'm very like, I'll follow all the steps and I won't miss one step if you tell me what to do. And I so I did that for myself. Like I started to learn how to edit videos and I, I learned everything about videos, how they're done, how to do movements, how to script a video. I created my own scripting system, which is a great tool. But what it did is and you can see, you can go to my Instagram now and you can see my videos and see what I mean. Like it's great content. It's like, wow, this is like really useful information. But I was like, duh, 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 like a robot, right? And I was like, <laughs> so now like when I, when I relaunch, I'm doing this podcast. Now it's part of the reason I'm doing this because I want to just chat and have normal conversations. But when I do my content again, it's going to be more about me. It's more me. Like I'm sharing a picture of me. Like, hey, here's me like doing some gardening or here's me doing this. And also on top of that, the information that I want to give to the world. Like here are the three steps you can take to become this or that or the other. So again, like I said before, reverse engineering that, 
or paths lead to Rome. And then from a bigger perspective, you want to try and aim towards actually connecting with that person, like your followers and having the 1,000 true fans. But rather, rather 1,000 true relationships would be better because you don't want fans, you want relationships. So that would be kind of a starting point, I think.